You got it. Welcome to another movie. As you can see, uh, I'm having another car. Uh, it's not a review of opening this because this was a kit, but this thing is a almost full metal modification car. So uh, I did order a uh, kit. It's a cool Q61 uh, J of JJRC. Uh, and I did uh, order almost all metal upgrades that are available. Available. This thing is heavy as hell, uh, and uh, I can tell you what upgrades are uh, are good to buy and what uh, upgrades did not work for me. Uh, keep in mind that all uh, probably almost because uh, the, the rims uh, did not need too much but almost all upgrades will need modification of uh, car and don't they don't fit right away in the car so uh, that's uh, that I can tell you already so uh, except of the car I'm using a uh, Alstar radio uh, just because I did not have any spare dumbbell seat this one is uh, this one I wanted to use in the Stingray car but that one is still wa waiting for the down printer uh, to start to work so I did uh, use it in here and it will stay with this car uh, another thing I still don't have any battery uh, this one is uh, uh, if I remember fitting inside it's a uh, Zop power 850 milli, milli amp, uh, amps per hour uh, of course not all upgrades did work uh, for example this thing first of all this thing is heavy as hell and because uh, the front axle have much more parts and the front bumper is also metal and there is uh, heavy battery in there uh, this thing would make the car not go on anything because it's so heavy I did not check how heavy it is but believe me that's quite a big amount of weight but why I did not use because this done dumb things so they give you screw to screw the uh, servo on this because it's set like this and this part is uh, moving in here so we can set what servo from the smallest to the biggest but the two screws that should go under it and should keep it in here uh, don't uh, screw inside the thread in here is uh, wrong or something is wrong with that and that was not wanted to screw inside so this uh, part is a trash don't buy this unless you can print a holder uh, 3d printed holder for it but still this thing is too heavy to use so bad another thing this parts those uh, parts are holding the leaf springs i will still uh, use that but the difference between the original plastic one and this one is that the holes are too wide so of course i can uh, i will file it down uh, to get the uh, holes closer if i remember or uh, wider closer if i uh, if i remember and i will use that uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter really but uh, still I will use that after I will modify this uh, another thing of course the giant problem in most of the cars is the let me show you like this the steering rod so I did fight with this uh, thing uh, for a longer time uh, they give you straight uh, straight part and if you uh, put it like this it will just hit the leaf springs and that will not allow you to use it uh, i could uh, put uh, a extension in here longer uh, screws and just some uh, nuts or something like this uh, like that to hold it in there but uh, still that will get catch with the leaf springs so i try that I found on the internet someone suggested to just bend the 
uh, threaded uh, rod and just mount it like this and bend it up that did not work because this was uh, wobbly like hell so the best solution the most easy solution is to extend the, uh, the arm I just cut a part of the uh, spare arm from the uh, set and extend this uh, screw it down with two screws and nuts on the other side and this thing is working fine so that's uh, what I did uh, so uh, uh, moving forward I left with many parts as you can see I will not use this because I replaced most of them and this will just be a spare maybe for other cars so what did I change first of all what you can see from the outside I changed the front bumper front bumper looks cool it's a really nice addition but for this car you, uh, car, you need to cut the fenders I think it's called uh, and you need to cut uh, this plastic in here because it will not fit in there so that's the first modification you will need to do uh, the uh, hard part is cutting these fenders because if you cut it too much like uh, in here it's perfect and here I cut it too much but from the front mostly you will not see except of this part in here uh, second part of course the, uh, the uh, mounting of the um, a line I just screw it inside but you need to screw it first because you before you put the fender on uh, next part is the uh, metal uh, rims this thing costs a little bit more it's not cheap and why this thing is unscrewing I don't know <laughs> I didn't screw it uh, tight enough it's great update but they did not give me uh, free screws for it but luckily I did have it I don't know how and from where but I did have this three screws so that's not a big problem but uh, and uh, rims are great look awesome and it's really cool upgrade uh, what else did I change I change let me start from the front of course both axles those are those are full metal with uh, bearings axles and those things are incredible so what upgrade you need to do with this thing uh, and does the the steering rod because uh, this thing is just annoying on all the cars that I work with uh, this thing is annoying uh, of course uh, because this thing is uh, is loose on this side I put a nut in here because the other uh, thread is uh, in reverse so I put a nut here I lock it and this way it's just uh, the whole rod is just moving let me get a little bit closer it's moving with this part and this part is loose but there's no other way to do it also in here I did the same thing uh, what else uh, the uh, the drive shafts I uh, not fully like this design but does working fine uh, actually no modification needed in here if I remember uh, just ate uh, a Loctite to the screws because they love to unscrew oh by the way most important thing with this these screws are uns unscrewing like crazy so you will lose this and uh, uh, hell with the screw but the bearing that it's under it is really hard to find I did lose it luckily I did find it in my room and I think this one is already loose because they uh, are uh, moving with the wheels when turning so this thing need to be glued but uh, just to be careful to not glue it uh, uh, because uh, to the axle because you will not be able to move the, uh, the steering uh, the motor, motor, uh, I don't know, remember it's uh, 380 if I remember, but this one is the double uh, gearbox one, and this thing is amazing. It's uh, quite slow, but also not so slow. It's just perfect um, amount of speed and force. It's really strong because you have one maybe planetary gearbox that makes th this motor really strong and another gearbox in here but 
what modification you need in here I need to cut a, a space for the heat shrink oh my god the cable came out oh, I will need to fix that later because I cut the uh, server cable in there the cables are really really hard to fit in there so we need to cut uh, part of the uh, floor and part of the uh, seats just to fit the motor in there and most of the cars will need that uh, and a little bit uh, enlarging of the holes on those tanks because the uh, screws are bigger so I because there is no uh, screw in here I needed to use a nut on the other side and that's the most of the uh, modification so uh, the leaf springs uh, are still the same just because I have no pre printer to work on my leaf springs and uh, the metal ones are really dumb and I did not like the design because it will make the car even higher and that will look like a monster truck not a military truck uh, moving on the rear uh, uh, bumper uh, so uh, to put the lights on it I use a uh, three millimeters uh, mounting plastics uh, and they are uh, holding by a, by a uh, plastic uh, a hot glue but a sil uh, black silicone hot glue on the other side and uh, because that's because the screws are the holes are too big for the M3 and too small for the uh, five millimeter LED. So that's uh, another dumb idea. But uh, I just did like that. I wanted to connect uh, it to the motor uh, and make the reverse light, but the circuit did not work it. So I just keep the all red. I will have my uh, hook on the back, the metal one, but I need to just order that. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm using the Dunbar C uh, uh, ESC, and that's working fine. And the original, uh, no, the servo from another kit, uh, and this servo is getting nuts when I turn it on. Uh, so I will uh, replace that with another uh, bigger, uh, same big servo but for now if this one is still working I will just uh, replace the servo and uh, the mounting uh, just switch the arm from the steering and that should uh, work fine sorry I did not uh, show you how I did that uh, as a uh, tutorial maybe or just show and tell just because uh, this thing took me about a month to assemble and sorry for that but you will not like to see the three hours uh, long movie uh, just how I I'm cutting all the parts trying to fit everything etc so okay let me put the battery inside and I will show you how the motor uh, work okay so I have the battery inside it's not fully charged because it's in the storm mode uh, also vol voltage first of course we turn on the radio we turn on the car I'm using the original switch and here is uh, the problem with the steering probably it's because it's a really bad uh, cheap servo and uh, there is loose on the potential meter and when the wheels turn a little bit to one side is just getting freaking out because it's you can see how loose it is and it's doing that but when it's standing that's not a problem so uh, I will not show you the remote but steering is working it's not a really big uh, angle of the steering just because the axle doesn't allow to uh, make any bigger turns and the motor uh, the slowest speed is like this there's a weird sound when going forward probably the gears are still matching to each other but it's uh, working and this is the full speed
Oh, I have a uh, motor reverse. Uh, I will need to change that also. Just notice I have the forward on the uh, the brake on the forward, so I also need to change that. But it's still having some power when getting on something. So this motor is a really great upgrade. It needs some modifications, but it's still an awesome upgrade. Of course, uh, forget about that. Uh, the lights on the front, and let me use the second hand. And on the back, the four uh, red lights. There is no. Uh, control of uh, some turning, some uh, stuff like that is just a uh, on the third channel aux is on off, and that's uh, just using the uh, ESC as a AC switch. So now I will need to take it out uh, and rotate, uh, switch the cables on the motor because I by accident put this uh, uh, wrong. So I need, I know I will need to reverse the throttle and trim the throttle as far as I can see <laughs> uh, is it here? yes it's in, in here that's uh, why you have the throttle trim to set the center of the servo I just need to switch the cables on the motor because I was having uh, the brake on the uh, on the reverse position so that's all I can uh, show you now uh, you will find the links in the description of the movie just to see uh, if you want to order any of these upgrades the, most of the upgrades are really great the axles are amazing the uh, the rims are amazing but I will still need to uh, glue the wheels let me turn it on yes I knew it <laughs> Uh, I will still need to uh, cut the wheels uh, just every second thread from the outside and inside to get more grip and maybe glue the, uh, the screws just to not lose it like this one this one I just need to screw it down uh, also I need to glue the, uh, the wheels to the rims just to keep it in there and just uh, not to lose it and those upgrades are really great so the axles the uh, the wheels bumpers for most cars will not be a problem on this car i needed to cut it down the rear part is really annoying with the uh, lights but it's still working fine i need the hook for it it will be the same hook as i have on my wpl the b1 uh, the first model I did upgrade uh, the motor is also amazing I can suggest to get that but don't get the one with the gearbox there's always a problem with that uh, and uh, probably the, the gears are uh, just tripping or uh, all the servo is uh, not always matching the gears so as far as I can always read uh, that thing is uh, not a good upgrade so I don't su suggest that so that's all I can uh, show you in this movie I don't worry I will test it out after uh, the cold weather it's uh, spring and we just got a snowfall <laughs> so I'm not able to test that outside but don't worry I will show how this motor is uh, handing on the outside uh, I just tested in home that's why the, uh, the, rub the uh, tires are so dirty but I will test it outside show you don't worry I just need uh, a better weather for that so that's all uh, I wanted to show you and see you in next movie.